Welcome back to Diecast Resurrection. This week we are working on my little favorite red line out of the bunch. It's very plain, it's very simple, but I like it. It looks like someone painted this one blue, so this is going to be mainly a, a respray video, and it should be a, an apple green spectra flame. So we're going to do that. And it did need a, a new windshield, so I had to order an aftermarket one. I got a Hong Kong blue one here. Other than that, I mean, we could just uh, throw some new wheels on this bad boy and away it goes. So the first thing we're going to do is use our center punch and put a hole in the middle of our rivet. And once that's done, we're going to use a really small drill bit and drill a pilot hole. And then I move up to a slightly larger drill bit and then we'll just drill out the post carefully until the top comes off and we're able to get the car apart. And I should be able to just pry here nicely like so. Yes, very nice. So here's our car, here's all our parts. A little bit of overspray on the inside of this car. We'll be able to clean that up. The interior looks pretty good, just needs a little bit of soap and water. So I'm gonna go ahead and use our aircraft paint remover and just dab it on the body. Get as much of this paint off as possible. And yeah, it's being a little bit stubborn this time. It happens. Starts working in five minutes. Water cleanup. So that's looking pretty good. So now I'm going to take this over to the sink and give it a quick scrub with some soap and water and I will be right back. And here's our body. It's looking real nice. It's looking real nice. I'm using my 1500 grit Trizac 3M sandpaper pad as usual oh you can just hear how rough it is so after a while this thing still kind of looks like trash my 1500 grit is not even scratching this zinc this is some tough stuff there was a couple little marks on the body I wasn't able to sand out, and I mean that's okay. That came from the factory, it's original. I am about ready to give this polish before we paint. But first we're going to make sure that this post is drilled out. The easiest way is to make sure the post is perfectly flat. And we'll drill out the post. And we're going to use a self-tapping screw. That's later going to hold the body together. Using my teeny turner. Alright, let's polish this up. Gonna put this on low. Alright, so that cleaned up pretty good. Should really make our Spectra Flame paint have a nice shine to it, anyways. Lots of little grooves in here, so I'm going to use soap and water and a toothbrush to clean the leftover wax. And before I paint this, I'm going to wipe it down with some lacquer thinner just to make sure there's no oil on it and all these little grooves here are clean so my paint doesn't get screwed up. So I'm going to do that. But first, we'll have a look at our chassis. The chassis is pretty clean. There's a little bit of oxidation. I'll probably just give this a quick polish while we're here. While I get everything set up.
I'm also going to clean this off with soap and water and then we'll put some new wheels on. Here comes some fresh wheels. There's my tool. Let's make sure these dualies are on there good. That looks good. Fresh wheels. This little guy is really coming along. So our body is ready for paint. So we're going to do that first and then this thing is going to be ready to go back together. Going to make sure you give your paint a nice shake. A dab a hardener. And we're going to give that a mix. We're going to be using a 190 mesh paint filter. This time just to strain our paint out. Obviously I don't need this whole thing, so I'm just going to take this little cone and we're just going to run our paint through our filter. i got to find a better way to cut these things, apparently. So the last thing I'm going to do is wipe down our body with a little bit of lacquer thinner just to make sure there isn't any oil or anything on it, and then we're painting. All right, so we got our wheels on. Everything's looking real good. I think we can go ahead and assemble. We've got a replacement windshield. This one came from the Redline shop. One of the few places you can actually get parts, it seems, unless I'm just looking in the wrong place. Okay, well this thing's really being kind of a little bit of a jerk. And that basically completes our restoration process for this heavyweights moving van. But the truck's been fixed. The replacement windshield fits pretty good. It was a little bit hard to get in there just with the interior. But other than that, the rest of the car went together without a hitch. Very nice little buggy. So that's going to do it for this restoration. Tune in next week, we'll be doing another red line. And then in the middle of the week, I'm going to do something else. Maybe a black wall or some electroplating. So make sure you tune in for that. And thanks for watching, guys.